Good evening. Good day. Hello. You're right. How are we doing? Now I don't want this to come across as a negative video. Maybe some of you can get some infra inspiration for it, or maybe you's, some of you can give me advice who are going through what I've been going through. So since the last video, which was like a week ago last Saturday, 10 days ago, I think I've rolled to work about three times, that's it. I've been looking for every excuse not to ride. And <laughs> off-road on the 28 mil Contis. I've been looking for every excuse not to ride. Uh, last night's excuse was, it's too windy and I'm tired. Now, I'll go further in depth of what I feel is that, but basically tonight, again, I was sat there procrastinating, looking for a reason not to go out, and my partners just basically kicked me out of the house and said, go and ride your bike. Um, so I just switched off my head and went out, but yeah, let me get out of here where I am, because I don't know where I am. So yeah, me and my partner had a baby in um, January, those years that made it to the end of the last video would have seen him and since then I've it weren't too bad when it was in the winter months because I could go upstairs on Zwift for an hour I was getting all my miles in then but at the minute I'm feeling really guilty about leaving Amy and the baby and coming out riding and rightly so that's why I need to upgrade these tires Ooh. now where were I yeah feeling guilty about leaving Amy and the baby I know and I do understand that for me to be a better partner, their dad, I need to go and clear my head and the only way I can do that is on the bike and obviously the walks but it's just not the same it's not the same being outdoors in places like this sometimes with a mate or as I am tonight on your own how do you guys get over it? what do you do? do you go through that? do you just go out? do you ride late at night? anyway, obviously you don't want to just come here and see me moan you just want to see me suffer so I'm heading, eventually, when I get back onto the route, to a top 100 climb local to me, Grains Bar, which is where the Tour of Britain went up. So between coming out of here and getting to the foot of there, the roads are pretty crap. So just coming to the end of here and let's get to Grains Bar, which I think anyway is a top 100 climb. I couldn't find it on Strava, it just looked too cluttered. Not many segments about these days, there's flipping hundreds of thousands, if not millions of them. So, open road, Brains Bar, let's go. I didn't realise. Oh, it's the open one, I climb. There's only two more climbs before I get home. And I think I know them. Oh, God. I was wanting a big bloody banner, like we're getting Zwift. When you go through a segment, or a big flashing neon sign, saying, segment here. <laughs> so all that over there, what you can see in the distance, these Greenfield and Dove Stones, absolutely stunning part of the world. Uh, mountain biking and road, there's plenty of both over there. So if you're ever in the area, go check it out. Or if you're from the area and you've not rode it, go check it out. It's mega. Oh god. That was tough. Oh, don't mind them only, 12 mile into the ride and 1100 foot, 1200 foot of climbing nearly or at least I hope I've done the climb anyway if I've not, my legs are in for another torture session because honestly, 
it takes ages to build your fitness on the bike although if you're an uber it builds pretty quick then to push that little bit harder and harder and harder each time and get your fitness up to where you hope it can be is hard but trust me you lose it fast i have i've just done it i know where they are the video here. Uh, no I'm not. I'm gonna head down there. I was supposed to be going that way but time's ticking on I'm gonna go that way because it's a nice descent this. So although I never did a top 100 climb it still did an amazing climb which was testing and I also punished myself on there. I will return in a couple of weeks and I will do the top 100 climb and we can get that one ticked off. Secondly, I would love to hear how you prioritise your family, work, cycle life. Obviously family always comes first, but how do you fit your cycling around that? Anyway, this is the end of the video. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Please consider subscribing and take care guys. Have a good day. Bye.